What's up guys, Blackhole here and welcome back to another video and today we're back on Pro Cycling Manager 2018 for the third stage of Tirreno Adriatico between Pomerance and Foligno 209 kilometers um, rather flat uh, well the bit like the first half of the race is um, a bit hilly but it won't be uh, of any influence on the uh, like possibly final sprint the possible final sprint, sorry. Um, if you haven't watched the previous stages, please uh, go ahead and do so. That's uh, our guys uh, and their GC position. Uh, our leader, obviously, being Team Wallens, is uh, 60th after the main team time trial. And uh, we're currently Polkadot Jersey with Tomas Marzinski, even though he's uh, currently 80 fitness, which is not great. Uh, but apart from that, I'm just going to show you the top three, which is consisted, consisted sorry, of um, Skyriders with Garin Thomas in the blue uh, jersey, Yanni Moscon and Salvatore Puccio being uh, on the second and third respective steps of uh, this Torino Adriatico, sorry. And uh, enough chatting, without further ado, let's just dump into the race and uh, see if we can do something. Alright, stage has started, uh, missed the start, but I mean, it's no big deal. Um, we're gonna put the guys uh, at the front of the peloton as we all, uh, as we always do. There's already some attacks uh, from non-important riders, although we've got Omar Frele from uh, Tour de France stage winner. But Tij Benut is uh, doing the work right now with Victor Campenart just following. Uh, do we need to send someone in the break? How many points is there at the second category? That's five, so the three is going to be three points, I would suppose, or four. Wait, let me, let me check. Wait. So the the second category climb is worth five pounds, five points. So is the third. Okay, that's weird. Um, so that means then there's uh ten points up for grabs. I, I'm gonna have um Marzinski in the break, uh, because he's in a good shape, which probably won't last long uh, for the tour. If I can have like. 10 points to add. Uh, that would be uh, that would be more than great. So that's what we're going to try and do. Uh, there's for now a um, small. Well, I was about to say there's a small breakaway. Not anymore. And we're going to send Tomasz Marzinski at the front. Uh, Peloton is already following. Oh, maybe no counter attacks. No, there are. Stop attacking! Look at them. They're all dead. And they just keep on attacking. Oh, there we go. We've got a break. All right, we do have our break. It took some time to to go exactly like yesterday, but we've got one. Um, Tomasz Marzinski, obviously, with uh, Jorge Arcas and Eduard Prades for Movistar. Mads Wurtschmidt, I think it was in yesterday's breakaway as well uh, for Katusha. Zilvan Dillier, the uh, runner-up of last year's Paris-Roubaix, and Alexander Porsev for Gazprom. Yeah, uh, hopefully we can take some points uh, for the GC, sorry, for the mountain uh, rankings. I don't know what I'm on about. And uh, yeah, let, let's let's see what we can do. All right, 3.9 kilometers to go till the KOM. Uh, we're going to pace with Marzinski uh, as we were leading uh, the, the break. I don't think someone like Paul Sev or Arcas uh, will be able to compete for the for some points. Which uh, would mean that we'll probably get at least one point. Uh, but obviously I'm hoping for more. Uh, we've got Sylvain Dillier behind us. He's going to launch an attack. We're going to follow immediately uh, the Swiss rider with two kilometers left. That's a very early attack. Paul Sev, Arcas, Prades, Wurtschmidt, Marzinski following Sylvain Dillier. 1.3 kilometers left to go until the summit. As Sylvain Dillier is now uh, collapsing. Mats Wurtschmidt's cancer attacks. We're cantering as well with Marzinski. 500 meters left. Sylvain Dillier has just exploded. We're going to try and counter attack with Marzinski. We're going to be able to overtake easily the Dane. And uh, is he Danish? Yeah, he's Danish. And that's going to be 5 points added to, uh, to our tally. Making that 11 for uh, the Polish rider Tomasz Marzinski. Alright, first aim of today's stage is complete. 
Uh, second one is the second KOM now in about 50 kilometers. So uh, yeah, see you then. 2.8 kilometers until the, the, the summit. We're gonna do the exact same tactic as we've pulled uh, in, uh, in the first climb. We're gonna lead and then uh, follow the attacks. I feel like it's the easiest tactic to, uh, to get the KOMs. So Marzinski leading with 1.3 kilometers to go. Edward Prades this time is the first one to attack and that's a very solid attack um, from the Movistar rider, former Karaoral, very good sprinter as well so he's got like he know, he's got a solid acceleration but that won't be enough to beat uh, our pole Marzinski absolutely incredible in today's stage uh, and yeah he's, he's done the job with now three minutes ahead of a peloton who completely stopped pacing, uh, which is going to help um, Catterford coming back in um, in the leaders group. Uh, we're now three minutes forty four minutes ahead now, as uh, Brent Bookwalter and Paul Martins are now taking the lead in um, in the in the peloton. Uh, we've got two guys dropped from the break, which would be Alexander Porsef and uh, Jorge Arcas, which mean which means, sorry, uh, four guys is left at the front of the race. Edward Prades, Mats Wurtschmidt, Tomasz Marzinski and Zilvan Didier who's currently placing. Um, but the rhythm of the peloton just increased. So it meant that Catterford will, will not come back. And uh, I mean, it's probably the saddest story you'll hear today. All right, 17.7 kilometers to go. Um, and uh, we, we've got our train ready. It's not going to be the best train you'll ever see, uh, or wait, you've ever seen? You'll ever see? Uh, it's it's not a great train. Uh, we're we're going to put it that way. Exact like it's a similar situation as to the Paris we've done on the channel recently, uh, which is well, I mean, still uh, on the way. Um, but yeah, we've got no sprinter, no sprinter. Uh, we're going to sprint for George van der Zander, and in his wheel. There is uh, Timo Lenz, just like if he can get some seconds, maybe like there's a small, like there's a turn and he'll be able to finish third. I'll take any bonus time um, on this Tirino because it's going to be tough to gain like a minute back on someone like Gary Thomas. Uh, 10 kilometers left though, as Campenart is pacing, trying to uh, navigate uh, in the traffic. It's now Jdenek uh, Stibar and Yves Lampard pacing for uh, Elia Viviani, who's uh, literally here. Peter Sagan is uh, at the front as well. It's nearly over for Victor Campenart, which is not good. Marzinski is dead. So, I mean, that's that's fine by me. 7.5 kilometers to go. Campenart is out of the equation. We now have a four-man train. Led by uh, by Tish Benut, the 2018 Strade Bianchi winner, as Timo Lenz has been uh, blocked. But I mean, it's uh, your usual PCM stuff. Five kilometers remaining. We're gonna, we're gonna use the gels and uh, accelerate 4.4 kilometer. No one is in our wheel because why would anyone take Timo Lenz's wheel for a sprint? I do not know. Um, but it looks like we're going to be able to launch the sprint in quite some clean air with Jens Kukula just behind him being Tosh van der Zander who launches his effort with 1.7 kilometers to go under the Flamme Rouge we're going to sprint with Tim Wellens and it's going to be a win for Peter Sagan second place for Tim Wellens, third place for Tosh van der Zander actually you know what, we, we've, we've, got the, we've done the job Garen Thomas finishes in fifth. We've we've got the job. We've taken second place, which is better than I expected. Yeah, solid performance. Uh, completing the top ten are Jens Kukula in six, Jasper Stoyven, Yanni Moscon, Fernando Guevara, and in tenth place is Primoz Roglic. Very weird sprint, and it's another win on Tirreno Adriatico for Pete Sagan, currently holding the uh, the orange jersey of the points. Easy win, easy win over Tim Wallens and Tosh van der Zander. Uh, we still finish in second and third, uh, exactly like the third stage of Paris Nice on the channel. So again, that's that's quite like funny. 
um, leads the jersey though stays with Garin Thomas. Um, I don't think there's going to be any changes GC wise except Pete Sagan getting time um, as well as Timo Lenz and Torj van der Sander. Um, next up on the podiums will be none other than Tomasz Mozinski who's increased his lead getting 10 points uh, in today's stage for the overall mountain jersey. Peter Sagan uh, increases his lead as well for the points jersey uh, with Timo Lenz making an appearance in a second position 15 points behind the Slovakian ra uh, rider. Uh, best young rider stays Yanni Moscon. Oh wait! No, I have... okay. Just forget that I did say... forget that I said oh wait. Uh, best team stays Team Sky. Not Nothing's gonna change on this side. Has there been any gaps? I do not think so. I mean, the first gap is with Marzinski, so there's no gaps. No one dropped. Uh, just, obviously, some thoughts with uh, Alexander Catterford, who couldn't make it and is uh, out of time on this flat stage. Um, but yeah, Peter Sagan gets the win from Timo Lenz, Van der Sander, Vivjani Thomas, Kukule, Stoyven, Moscon, Gaviria, and Roglic. Nice three finisher, well, three of riders finishing in the top 10 for us. That's nice. Pino finishing in 11th. Tom Dumoulin in 16th, Nibali in 18th, Adam Yates in 17th. Very, very weird sprint. Um, don't know what happened. But I mean, I I'll take that. So GC-wise, uh, where does that put us? We're 60th, we're now, we're now 44th. 48 seconds behind Garin Thomas. Uh, still a favorite to win, uh, to win Tirano. And to see uh, well, the outcome of uh, the Italian race, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. So that you won't miss uh, any uh, any stages. Also uh, tomorrow and on Sunday, I think that's uploaded on Friday. So yeah, tomorrow stage is like on the Pyrenees. You do not want to miss it. You, I, and I'm telling you, you do not want to miss tomorrow's Paris uh, Pyrenees stage because it is incredible. If it, it it just is, I'm trying not to swear, but it's just incredible. Um, so yeah, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, like the video uh, if you enjoyed it, comment down below um, if there's anything you want to say, follow me on my social medias, the links are in the description down below, uh, but yeah, I've been Blackcore, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you today guys, and goodbye.